Skeleton Key Hawaii is the brainchild, mmm, brains, of two actors who took very different paths that converged in a creepy haunted house in Kailua. Hi, I'm Kevin Keeveney. I'm the owner and operator of Skeleton Key Hawaii. We have a haunted house we do uh, every Halloween. We change up uh, with a different theme every year and we'll be incorporating an escape room after Halloween. So this year's haunt is circus themed, car and evil of screams. We open on October 12th, we run through the 31st uh, on the weekends. We do have cakey hours on the 21st and the 28th. And cakey hours are very kid friendly. It's a little more akin to kind of a, an organized trick or treating uh, event for the kids. The adult haunted house on the other hand is for definitely 12 plus. You know, you've got to kind of make your own judgment on what your child or, or you yourself think you can handle. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> the haunt itself, it, it really is, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it does have a, a serious uh, point to it, and that is to help fund Kailua On Stage Arts, which is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we've just started uh, with our first show uh, this past September uh, called The Wolves. It was a big hit. Uh, we extended, we had a lot of uh, sellout audiences. So we're looking forward to our second show, which will be coming up right after Thanksgiving, called Songs for a New World. It's a small, intimate musical. It's really, it's very interesting. It's about people whose lives are in transition. My name is Jorge Garcia. I'm an actor. I've been in a few TV shows, um, namely Lost in Hawaii 5 probably the ones I'd get most recognized for. Well, I've always been a fan of Halloween, and when Kevin was starting this whole business of the theater with doing escape rooms and haunts, he asked me to design this first haunt for him, which was our Egyptian-themed haunt. The, the idea of decorating your house for Halloween on a much grander scale and uh, you got to actually have like people come through it and uh, see uh, what kind of reactions it could cause. It was pretty fun. So we liked the notion of coming up with a whole new haunt, basically starting from more or less, you know, from, from, from the empty page and then coming up with a new one. This year is carnival, circus and that stuff. I was born in West Point, New York. My dad was a career military guy. So I moved around a lot. I uh, found that acting was a quick and easy way to meet a bunch of people uh, when I moved to a new place. I studied drama at Yale and it was a, a real playground. It, it was like a, being in a candy store because there were at any given weekend five, six, seven different shows going on on campus. So I was doing upwards of 12, 13 shows a year, which was... <laughs> Probably bad that I got accustomed to that because once I moved to New York, you know, it slowed way down and I had to, of course, work for a living as well at the same time. I was in New York for nearly 20 years. I didn't think it was going to be like an overnight success or anything like that. I just wanted to have a, a career in theater. Well, film and TV I liked, but that wasn't my focus. Theater was always my focus. 2007, I went to my 20 year high school reunion and kind of rekindled a romance with uh, one of my first girlfriends in high school. She was living in Hawaii, so we dated for a uh, long distance, and that grew old real quick, those plane rides. So I moved on out here. I kind of thought that I was giving up theater. I, I didn't really know what to expect from the theater community out here. But once I got out here, you know, I found a really vibrant community, lots of really great actors, and so I, I chose Kailua as a place to start up a theater company. and. The entire time, part of the uh, idea of the different revenue streams that would fund the theater company was we would do a haunted house every year. I, I had grown up, my family was the one on the block that always turned their garage into a haunted house and we had always had a lot of fun with it as a family. And so uh, I thought that this would be a great way to do it uh, and make some money for the theater. I met Jorge through uh, my friend Therese, and we had been uh, playing a different kind of board games and things like that, and I knew that he was interested in uh, Halloween and haunted houses. He's, he's a big Halloween aficionado, uh, so it just seemed natural to say, hey, you know, I'm gonna be doing this haunted house, would you like to be involved? And he, he jumped right on it. Jorge comes up with the concept and the design of the haunt each year. Um, and that, that's everything from the storyline to the characters and the different props and 
uh, sort of like gags that are happening within and different, you know, specific scares that are happening. And then Jorge and Rebecca Birdsall will go and build a lot of the prop pieces and the set pieces, stuff like this. In the meantime, I am working on uh, building the construction, the framing of the maze, and a lot of uh, kind of the, the larger construction elements, and then gathering the, the team that will be uh, working in the haunt. And then Therese Oliveau and I will we cast the show together. Therese works on the PR and uh, gets the word out about the haunt. And then we all are here for the haunt in October, uh, working most nights. This year we had uh, about half of last year's cast return to us. So we already knew and loved them and were able to hire them right away. Everybody else we put through a semi-audition. We talked to them about what they like in a scary movie, what scares them, what sorts of things they would like to do. Have they ever been in a haunted house before? Things like that. And then we give them a very simple improv exercise which just to see kind of how much they can commit to a character or to uh, an action. The haunt every year uh, employs a, a bunch of actors. This year it's about 22 actors, but then we have almost the same amount of folks working behind the scenes. Security and box office and costumes and uh, there's a whole range of, of different kinds of jobs uh, that we've got to fill. Last year we had over 4,000 uh, folks come through the haunt. Jorge is an amazing artist. Uh, a lot of people may not know that, uh, but he, he drew this image for last year's haunt. He drew, drew a similar um, EC comic book style uh, image for this year's haunt. Um, I do all the graphics that are uh, like the Photoshop elements, so the banner and the postcards that we'll hand out are uh, stuff that I put together in Photoshop, but all the hand-drawn stuff, that is, that's all Jorge. I always like to dabble in drawing and stuff as a kid, and then um, as, you know, tablets made drawing digital and also very easy because you could uh, use, you know, models and stuff that you find on the internet as, you know, to get, you know, to work on forms and things like that, or, or, or steal ideas of, you know, how to just kind of like do certain pictures. And so, yeah, that's kind of where all that came from. I just, um, it's kind of just what I like to do in my off time, or like the moments right before I go to bed. I just like uh, dealing with the design and the aesthetics of things. So if I can add in its like a uh, scenic design, you know, chip in wherever I can. Hawaii was a place I always loved when I came to visit, so it was definitely something that I had thought about e even considering living here in the past, you know, or at least having a place here. And then I moved out for Lost and I was here for six years. Um, and I didn't quite gather the capital to buy a house yet. And then I was about to move back to California because my career was still pretty early and I think, you know, kind of being in town is helpful. So then uh, I moved back, I bought my house in California and then the island just pulled me back in. And then I got this, you know, this is about, to, I just started my fifth year on Hawaii Five O. So it's basically a second home for me for sure. Tree to tree. Don't go anywhere, there's more Halloween fun right around the corner.